Good day viewers all over the world. Thank you for joining my channel today. By God's grace, I came with a topic I titled Understanding How God Guide Part 3. Understanding How God Guides Part 3. How to be led by God Part 3. And I'm referring today, I will be speaking on the topic I titled Conscience. Several of us don't really know what conscience is all about, but this teaching by God's grace is going to teach you, you will understand what conscience really means. I want to sincerely appreciate all my subscribers. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and for those that are just coming in contact with my channel. I want to sincerely encourage you to, to subscribe to my channel. Just press the red button, you see it written on the screen saying subscribe. Just subscribe to, to it by pressing it. Without wasting time, let's go to the business properly. Understanding how God guides, how to be led by God, part three, conscience, conscience. Let me take it again. How God guides, part three, conscience. How to be led by God, conscience. Conscience is the moral part of you that determine what you do. I mean conscience is the moral sense that determines what you do. Every man wake up in the morning and do one thing or the other, but there is a sense in the man that determines what he does. And this is referred to conscience. When you wake up in the morning or when you are faced with diverse challenges, there is a part of you that determines how you will react to it. It is called conscience. And it is very important because most of the time, God speaks through our conscience. And that is why every believer is encouraged to renew his mind through the word of God. And the way to renew your mind, that is your conscience. He is through the word of God. So the part of you that determine your judgment, that determine what you do, that determine your behavior, is called conscience. So as I'm speaking with you now, you will, you will have the understanding that there are things that you do and then it is determined by part of you. Sometimes you don't really want to do it. It is called conscience. So. You will sit down, your, your mind will be thinking, you will be thinking, what can I do, how do I do this? It is your conscience speaking to you. Or sometimes you just have an engagement with a fight. You had a fight with someone, and then while you are sitting down, your mind is telling you that that thing you did is very wrong. It is the conscience. The Holy Spirit speaking through your conscience to you. So conscience is very important. Some people will just steal a thing and then before you know, their conscience will condemn them. Why some, their conscience will not condemn them? I'm going to open your eyes to five types of conscience. And when you know the five type of types of conscience, you will know the roles that conscience plays in man's life. Let me portray them all. This is a knowing in a man that something is wrong and something is, is bad. That is what I've just said. So conscience is a sense of, it's a sense in the man that determines what he does. And it helps you to design what is right or what is wrong. So when you see people behaving abnormally, something is wrong as tampered with their sense of judgment, their conscience. So it is very important you pay attention to this teaching. I'm going to give you right now, like I said before, five types of conscience. Come along with me. Number one, defiled conscience. Defiled conscience. It's in the book of Titus, chapter 1, verse 15. The scripture read, Unto the poor, or unto the pure, all things are pure, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving, is nothing pure, but even their mind and conscience is defiled. But even their mind and conscience is defiled. 
What does it mean to be defiled? It means to be corrupt. So when your heart is corrupt, when your conscience is corrupt, it will be difficult for God to speak through it. When your conscience is defiled, it's littered up with all manner of evil. You fight here, you commit stealing here, you commit fornication over there, you lost after this. These things defile your conscience. And therefore, God doesn't speak to a defiled conscience. Number two, sealed conscience. What does it mean to seal a thing? It means to, to block entrance to such a thing. You discover that some people, their conscience is sealed. How do I mean? For example, first day, you had an argument with someone, and then you get annoying in you that ah, that thing you do, it was very wrong. And then the next action was to, mm, it's not wrong. You find a way to justify it, it's not wrong. And there is no way to ap apologize for it. The second day, you did the same thing. The third day, repeatedly. Later, when you do a thing like that, nothing is going to check you. You don't have anything to check you. I want you to read the book of Romans. Romans chapter 21 down to 24. Apostle Paul was speaking about a sealed conscience. People who does that, that is why they got addicted in drinking. Their conscience correct them but because they are sealed it up against truth. They can never be checked by God any longer. So their conscience has been sealed up. Check your life. If you really want to hear God, you must leave your conscience open to Him so that He can correct and guide you. And these are the way that God speaks. But this is one of the ways that God speaks, but people have blocked it up. Number three type of conscience, weak conscience. There are conscience that are weak. How do I mean you have determined, you have determined that I'm going to do this thing. And suddenly you just find yourself that a friend just come in, why, why would you do that? And then you let it go. You let it go. It is called a weak conscience. Your conscience is weak. I want to encourage you, if you find yourself, you can find strength and, and strength and guidance in the word of God. God speaks through our conscience, but when we have a weak conscience, it becomes very difficult for, for us to hear what God is saying at time. Number four, clear and pure conscience. Clear and pure conscience. Our conscience, if it's pure and clear, God do speak expressly. You find Apostle Paul speaking about himself having a pure and clear conscience with the Lord. That is in the book of That is in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 3. Speaking of himself, having a clear conscience with the Lord. And then people who have pure and clear conscience, they easily get information from the Lord because God instructs them through their conscience. Number five, seized conscience. Seized conscience. This conscience is dried. It means, seized means something that is dry. So there are people that their conscience has been dried up. And so whether you do good or bad, it has no effect on them. They don't feel it. They don't know it. So people who have this conscience cannot really hear God. I've given you five types of conscience that we have. And the most that God will speak through is pure and clear conscience. And you must keep your heart, your conscience pure and clear so that you can hear God. If not, you won't hear him when he speak. When can I trust my conscience? If you are here, the question on your heart is, when can I trust my conscience and know that it's God speaking with me? I'm going to give you some step to it. Come along with me. Number one, when 
The word of God is the basis of what you do. When the word of God is the basis of what you do, you can trust your conscience. God can lead you through it. When the word of God becomes the basis of what you do, determines what you do per time, then you can be sure that God is leading me. Number two, when you have a desire to obey the words of God, when your desire is to obey the words of God, you can trust your conscience. You can be sure that it's God that is leading you. But when you don't have a desire to obey His word, then it will be difficult. It will, of course, be difficult for you to know when God is leading you. Number three, when you prayerfully decide on a thing before you take a step, when you prayerfully decide on things, you can be sure that God will lead you through your conscience. If you are praying for a thing and you prayerfully desire, decide before taking an action, God will lead you through your conscience. Number four, when your conscience sounds alarm, when you consider a wrong thing, a wrong option, a wrong action, and your conscience sound alert, several people, their conscience is dry, sealed, several people, their conscience is defied, several people, their conscience is weak. So, when they consider a wrong option, it doesn't give them a lot. But when you consider a wrong option and your conscience alerts you, then you can trust that God will lead you through your conscience. Number five, lastly, when you, are, you feel guilty upon any wrong action that you do, you committed, you, you have done a thing and it's wrong, and you feel guilty in you. You feel that, oh, what I've done is very wrong. Then you can trust that the Lord will lead you through your conscience. So, I have said all this that you may know how God leads people. So, if God leads you through, you carefully decide on the thing. The basis of what you do is the word of God. You can trust that the Lord will speak through your conscience. And this is number three ways by which God speaks to, to people. I hope you have been blessed. Till I come your way next time, I remain your host on Richest Resources ITV. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Till I come your way, I love you all. Bye.